LDBC, this is your boy Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. <sighs> boy, boy, boy. <laughs> oh, man, the coach. God almighty, man. I'd have been talked into going to the coach's family reunion. <sighs> you know, I've been saying no to this, man, for about three months. And, you know, finally... You know, finally, my, 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 my mother was like, you need to come on and go because uh, you only see these family every now and then. I said, yeah, there's a reason for that. There's a reason for this. There's a reason why I don't see them, but every, every now and then. And maybe some of y'all probably know why. How many of y'all have been to a family reunion? You know, I'm going to run into, you know, I'm going to run into the uncle that's going to give me a life lesson. I, I already know. Oh, I'm going to get a life lesson from him. Every time I see him, I, I get a life lesson. I don't know. It's a life lesson on what I need to be doing, what I should be eating, what I should be drinking, how I should be farting, how I should be pissing. I mean, I, I'm going to give me a life lesson. I am. And then I'm going to have the auntie that they always know what's best for you. Well, you need to do this. You need to do this. And, you know, you're going to sit back, you know, and just listen. Or, you know, I'm going to have the other family member, the drunk person, the uncle. He's going to be drunk, and he's going to roll around, and he's going to come up and try to have an intelligent conversation with me, but he's going to be completely out on his feet, like Conor McGregor was when Floyd Mayweather hit him. He's going to be out on his feet, completely. Folks, that's just the way that is. <laughs> He's going to be out on his feet. And so, you know, when you go through all of this, I'm like, damn, it's the family reunion. And I think everybody in the country, family, you, you got some of those characters, man. You got, I mean, everybody got the uncle that's done had a little bit too much to drink. Everybody got the uncle that's going to try to teach you a life lesson over and over and over. But, you know, my favorite one, my favorite one is the relative that's the hater. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, man, you still got your gym? I, I can't stand it. I can't stand when people literally ask me, do you still have your gym? They, they ask that question like, oh, it's supposed to fail. You know, like, dang, it, you still got it? Like, oh, you still got it? It ain't failed yet? That person. Well, you know what you could do, man. You know, you can go take some flyers, man, and, and post them all over the complexes, man. And You know, <sighs> you know, I just I take a deep breath, man. I, that's why I don't really do family function, man. I, I really don't. That's why I don't do them. Outside of my immediate family, you know, and, and, and God bless. You know, my mom just, you need to come on. And, uh, and I'm like, uh, yes, ma'am. You know, and I can't, I can't argue back with my mom. Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. I just, I, I've learned in life, don't, don't argue with your mom because that, that ain't a good thing. But, you know, I'm sitting back and I'm like, dang. This family reunion finna be on to something, man. It's going to be on and popping. And then I thought about, you know, shooting a video, like showing y'all some, some of these characters. But I said, nah, because, you know, they still my family. I love them. And then, yeah, I don't know, man, this channel, the number of just crazy people kind of have grown. And, you know, somebody tried to do something to family or, you know, hey, you know how people get, man. So I don't put it in my immediate family. I just I don't put them on camera. Uh, just know, you know, I don't see no reason to do that. That's just the way that is. <laughs> Oh, it's, it's going to be entertaining. It's going to be entertaining. Or, you know, somebody going to say, oh, man, you don't eat enough. Hey, won't you have one of these hamburgers? Knowing damn well I don't eat meat. And, you know, and if that's the topic of conversation for this entire thing, then I know I'm out. <laughs> I know I'm out. They got a three-strike rule. I'm giving them three strikes. Three strikes and they out. If three people ask me about, you know, why I don't eat and why I ain't doing this, I'm out. Like, I'm completely out of there. I mean, you might as well go on and just chalk it up, down, you know, 1-800, I'm out. Okay? So it is. But, it, you know, it kind of sometimes is condescending, man, because when you go in there and you go and then you try to just, you want a fellowship, man, with people you ain't seen. You just want a fellowship. And then it's like, you know, you got people, I don't know, man. It's like they're looking at your life with a microscope and, you know, their life is, is jacked up. And it's like I don't even go because, you know, they never have anything that I'm going to eat anyway. And so, you know, what I do, you know what I do. I end up bringing my own stuff. And then, oh, what you eating that for? 
What you mean what I'm eating that fuck cuz? I don't want to be on medication. Oh, huh. Huh. Well, you know, a little medicine ain't going to hurt you. You know what I mean? I'm like, what? Nah, you out your mind, man. I'm taking no darn medicine. I'm taking no medicine for nobody. But, you know, man. I, I, yeah. It's going to be funny, but at least it's not. It's in a location that's disclosed and could grieve, man. I, I think with some of these relatives, yeah. I think the location need to be disclosed. I mean, yeah. It need to be because I had some crazy people in my family, y'all. I'm talking about when I tell you they're crazy. Like, I got some crazies in my family. And I sit and I think to myself, uh, uh, you know, God, dog, I came from this family? God, dog. Well, it is what it is. I'm finna go and I guess they're gonna entertain me for the day. And then I'm gonna get back. I'm gonna get on up out of here, though. Because I still got, like, one more interview to do. I, I done done an interview this morning and I got to do a, another interview at in another hour or so I gotta do it and you know I actually gotta do the interview while I'm there I gotta go to some hideout place and go try to have this interview man it's, it's crazy but you know how you you know how you kinda never like to disappoint your mom when your mom be expecting you to do something and you just you don't wanna be the one that disappoints your mom you know that that kinda I'm, I'm that kinda son you know I, I you know my mom asked me I'm a, you know I'm, I'm just gonna do it you know I ain't really you know I ain't wanna tell my mom no you know I never do Cause you know she never told me no on a lot of things, so it's just like, uh. but it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun, but I got you know I brought some I brought some breath mints for the uncle that's drunk. You know I bought me a couple of breath mints for him to, you know. So if I gotta hold a conversation, hey man, have one of these breath mints, man. Hey, take this, man. He he drunk. He don't know it. He gonna think it's candy. Hey man, have some candy. <laughs> oh man. And then I'm gonna get out of there for dark for night rolls uh, for night. Uh, I'm gonna get out of there for sunset, cause uh, when the sun set, boy, 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 I, I can compare my family. Some of them they change in the werewolves when the sun go down and the moon come up. Uh, you got a whole nother level of crazy, man. Whole nother level of crazy. And that, my friends, that's just the way that is. This is your boy Coach Out there. So I'm done. What are you waiting on, subscribe?